Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a full case of 2022 Panini Select Baseball 12 box. Pick your team at number 9 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. All card chip, couple autographs, couple memorabilia cards per box on average. Big thanks to everyone here for getting in on the action. If you join Pick Your Team 9, you're part of that break credit promo. If all the requisite number of breaks sell out by by Saturday night, so we've got plenty of time to do it. Tonight's only Wednesday. Double last spot mojo for Mac, getting the Tigers and Royals to fill up the break. Appreciate that. There's the case right there. Let's see what we got. Good luck, everybody. I got the sounds of Twins at Dodgers on in the background. I think the game is still tied at four. The Dodgers were trailing a little bit. But came back to tie it up. 4-4, four, four, bottom of the sixth. Justin Turner up to bat. Color wheel, yeah, that's, that's one of the, the ultra rare cards that we're looking for. The color wheels, I think, uh, I think, um, are kind of like the Kaboom cards. I think, I don't know if they're one per case. That's what I'm trying to think. But, wish they would just guarantee two autos. Why can't they do that? Why is it always on average? I'm pretty sure that a machine, <laughs> a machine puts all this stuff together. So I think they're just kind of covering their bases if the machine screws up. I think with higher end products like Flawless, I think those are, I want to say those are hand packed. So that's why they're, they're able to, to put a guarantee on it because it's done by hand. Anything that's kind of machine randomly put in, they'll say on average. We're going to lead off with Aaron Ashby, part of the Ashby family. A nephew or a son of either Alan or a a Andy. And that goes to the brew crew, Peter, with the brewers. There's Cedric Mullins to 149. That'll be for the Orioles. Aaron with that one. Who do I like in the Field of Dream games tomorrow? It's a good question. Who's who start? Who are the starters? There's Glenn Otto, piece of his jersey, for uh, Tanner and the Rangers. Two thirty-four out of two fifty. Luis Gill. And Wander Franco. Hmm, just his jersey. That'll be for Grant and the Rays. We got Johnny Bench to 35 for the Red Legs, Chris Parent. Trevor Rogers. That uh, did look a little different. That's diamond level. I think that's the shortest printed. There's different level. I think diamond level is the shorter printed one, and it's a it's a silver. You Darvish. That's premier level red to one ninety nine. 
And to 49, nice Jared Walsh moonshots autograph. To the moon for Richard Serrano. Hey, El Canon, what's going on? He said, hey, let's go Rocks. Pull something decent for my boy Matt. Yeah, Matt Arnold with the Rockies. Got plenty of boxes to go for some Rocks. All right, box two of 12. Hey, you're welcome, Rick. Ooh, Chris Taylor, CT3 with a solo shot off of, is that off of Michael Fulmer? 5-4 Dodgers. Chris Taylor back off the, <laughs> excuse me. Back off the IL, I don't know, maybe a week or so ago. Slider that didn't slide too much. Ended up sitting middle, middle, I want to say. Yeah, it was pretty nice, El Canon. It was nice to see uh, Josh, the Padres, get all, get give up all these prospects, get Juan Soto and Josh Bell, and then struggle to score runs. But they look kind of scary today. <laughs> they did score. They did pound out 16 hits and 13 runs against the Giants today. So. And they still don't have, and Tatis Jr. is coming back, so. Dodgers have to face him again soon. I think in the next not too distant future, and so I'm sure they'll be have big chips on their shoulders. All right, there's Jaron Duran for, uh, for Karen and the Red Sox. And there's Tony Santillan. 199 jersey and autograph rookie jersey and auto for Chris Parent and the Reds. <laughs> Rockies look like they have another 10 15 years in second to last place. There's Josh Lowe 95 out of 199 jersey and autograph. So the White Sox are still limping. Do they make the playoffs or do they make noise and get in? Tyler says no, too many injuries. Yeah, the, the White Sox feel, they feel pretty underwhelming the last couple years. On paper, they looked great. But guys like Tim Anderson got, you know, he's out four to six weeks with like a ligament issue and they just really haven't put it all together. Josiah Gray, Ryan Stewart with the Nats. Matt Arnold, what's a, do, do you know who picks the cards for the breaks? Wondering about Terrell Davis because his kids went to school in line this year. He gave out a lot of autograph kids. Car picks the cards for what? For for these products or or for our hit packs? It's Thomas Zabuki for the Metropolitans. Bryce Harper to twenty five. I think he's making his way back. On our break page? So 199, Miguel Cabrera. Oh, um, I think uh, I, it's Nick Jaspi. He, he does, he's uh, my colleague Nick, who uh, prices and posts all the products. We'll just grab a random thumbnail Something that that it's eye catching puts a thumbnail on our uh, on our website. 
Terrell Davis, pretty incredible. El, El Canote, White Sox make the playoffs. Calling it. Yeah, how did... Oh, he fell off a workout bike? What's with the biking injuries? Chris Sale fell off a bike after breakfast or something like that. Just riding around town. He's done for the season. Broke his wrist. Workout bag seems embarrassing. Hey, what, what if it was, uh, I don't know, if you see that Mayhem commercial? Is it Allstate commercial or whatever it is? There's the Peloton commercial. Best news in sports rec saying is the Marshawn Lynch mugshot. Yeah, I don't, I don't take too much, too much pleasure in looking at people's mug shots and the worst moments of their life. One of their worst moments of their life. I wouldn't say that's the best news in sports. Alex Verdugo to 199. O'Neill Cruz rookie card, and a moon to the moon. Max Muncie had a homer today. Hey, people have heart attacks on those Pelotons, Max Singh. Yeah, I know. We, I saw the Sex and the City episode, too. I didn't know you were a fan. Aaron with the Dodgers. And then O'Neill Cruz goes to Jeffrey and the Pirates. And there's Reed Detmer's spark signatures to 199. Richard with the Angels. Love the tie dyes here. Six out of twenty. Drew Ellis, Andy with the Diamondbacks. Al Canone, Josh is Max Muncie isn't a super common name, and the A's had a prospect named Max Muncie. What are the odds? Well, the A's used to used to. The A's were uh, Max Muncy's old team. Dodgers' Max Muncy used to be on the A's. Looks like the A's missed having a Max Muncy, so they drafted another one. So, yeah, it's TC saying the same thing. So I guess they must have missed having a, uh, missed having a Max Muncy on their team. They're like, just the organization just doesn't feel right without a Max Muncy. So let's go ahead and draft another Max Muncy. Five out of twenty-five. Shane Boz, Tampa Bay Rays. Grant. And there's Matt Manning to ninety-nine. And the A's organization were like, you know what? You know what? Things haven't been. Things haven't felt right without Max Muncy around. Let's get ourselves a Max Muncy. It would be funny if the Dodgers got the other Max Muncy. I don't know. How would that work if you have the exact same? How does that work? Do they play similar positions? I actually don't know what prospect, A's prospect Max Muncy, what position does he play? Is he also a lefty? I guess that's where jersey numbers help, right? I sure did, Matt. I sure did. It's worth worth watching the video. I think the title has a little spoiler in the title as well. 
little clickbait, a little spoiler. Check out our list of videos, ladies and gentlemen, for Wednesday, August the 10th, 2022. All right, next box. And we got Yerman Mercedes, jersey and autograph for the White Sox. Dante with the White Sox. A's prospect Max Muncy is a shortstop. I mean, Dodgers Max Muncy could probably play shortstop. They move him around the infield. There's Alejo Lopez, 134 out of 299, jersey and auto for the Red Legs. We're on to Cincinnati. It'll be for Chris Parent. I know, well, I had a couple, Matt, I had a few, uh, I had a few of those gold silver pack breaks where I didn't hit any one of ones either, and then we just kind of went on a run. Hopefully that trend continues. We got one more of those tonight. Max Scherzer, 119 out of 149. That's going to be a scary rotation to face in the playoffs. JT Real Muto to 35 for the Phillies. Drew Ellis for Andy and Arizona. And a red Paul Goldschmidt to 199 for the Redbirds. And behind Xander Bogarts is Brandon Marsh. Piece of his jersey. Field Dreams game tomorrow. That's right, Rex. I did see the jerseys. They teased that on Twitter a few, last week, a few days ago, recently. They, they teased that on, on the socials. I saw it. I like it. I actually have that, uh, I actually have that, um, that Cubs hat that they're wearing. It was when we went to, was it our first national in Chicago many moons ago? And uh, we were at, uh, we went to a game at Wrigley. I think we saw, I say we saw Chris Bryant hit a, hit a walk off there for the, for the Cubbies. Saw a game there, and then we were hanging out, and I wanted to get a souvenir for, to, as a reminder of the Chicago trip. And I got, and I was like, I'm not going to wear a modern day Cubs hat. I'm not a Cubs fan, I'm a Dodgers fan. But I was like, oh, here's, I, I, you know, I like that little bear holding a bat. Bears are pretty cute. And so, uh, so yeah, I've, and it was like a, what is that, the 1930s? The old 1930s Cubs logo or something like that? I don't think they used it for very long either. But, wow, that's an unpopular opinion. El Canon saying, Field of Dreams game is a cool concept, but that movie was meh as far as baseball movies go. Not sure why all the hype. That's a controversial opinion considering that's probably one of everyone's, most everyone's favorite baseball movie. At least top, top five easily for most people. Top, in people's top two, probably my favorite baseball movie.
There's Kevin Smith for the Blue Jays, Chris Parent. I think it's a it's a classic. Top five baseball movie of all time. Absolutely. There's Taylor Walls. Ninety-eight out of ninety-nine on that Taylor Walls. For Mac, the natural pride of the Yankees top two. Those are pretty good, but for me, Field of Dreams, probably a league of their own, are probably probably my top two. There's Jake McCarthy, Mac's brother, 288 out of 299, jersey and autograph. That'll be for Andy and the Snakes. Gilo says Sandlot. Rex saying younger people say the Sandlot, older people say Field of Dreams. Didn't they come out around the same time? To 149, Brandon Crawford. It's for the Giants, Sean Healy. When did Field of Dreams come out? There's Shane Boz. Yeah, Sandlot's pretty good though. That's 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 in my top five. I think it still holds up too. I did a recent viewing of that. There's Yohan Mankata, seven out of ten for the White Sox. Um, to one ninety nine, Tristan McKenzie. I saw Field of Dreams at a um, at Dodger Stadium. They did a movie night at Dodger Stadium after a game. That was pretty awesome. I've also been to the Field of Dreams. In Dyersville, Iowa. This was after that very same national, I want to say. I took a, took a couple, couple days off to drive out to Dyersville and check out the Field of Dreams. El Canon says, it's pretty much the same time, Rex. I don't think there's too much of a generational difference in those few years. El Canon says, Sandlot, League of Their Own, Moneyball, Major League, and 42. For me, League of Their Own, Bull Durham, not in any particular order, League of Their Own, Bull Durham, Major League, Field of Dreams, Probably Sandlot. Maybe maybe Moneyball in there. Justin Turner off the top of the wall. No, that's Trey Turner off the top of the wall. Nice. Watch the El Canal watch Field of Dreams when you're older. I think if you didn't watch it as a kid, it doesn't have the same impact. I, I, you would think with the with the father son dynamic that as you get older that would matter more. Hmm. You've never seen Bull Durham? That, that Mac never seen Bull Durham. You should definitely see it. It's Jaime Berea, 004 out of 149. Jersey and autograph for the Halos. Richard. Ah, maybe you just didn't you didn't like the supernatural aspect of it. It's Brian Reynolds to one ninety nine. No, Al Canon wants cold hard reality. No suspension of disbelief. Ooh! Otani Color Wheel. Woo! Richard Serrano. It's pretty nice.
Congrats. Those color wheels real sharp. You think there's an Otani color wheel where he's hitting? Yeah, th this is just as Gilo was referenced, Angels in the outfield. There's Chaz McCormick, 99 out of 199, jersey and autograph. Houston. Houston, we've got an RPA, Bobby. Pablo Lopez to 99. Eight men out is pretty good. That was a great cast in eight men out. There's Tyler McGill for the Mets. It'll be for Steve Birch. I think I think Gilo's just saying he he made an angel's reference and then out popped an angel. It's pretty supernatural. There you go, Rick. Congrats. What do those go for? Someone look that up. There's Marcus Simeon to fifty, and Lucas Giolito for the White Sox. Dante. All right, we are halfway through this full case break. Got about another 30 minutes to go. Nobody talks about Air Bud, Rex is saying. Yeah, what about Air Bud? Did, did Air, was Air Bud ever in a baseball movie? Last Boy Scout, was that a baseball movie? Rick Serrano looks like three or four hundred bucks on that color wheel Otani. Nice. That's not bad at all. Maybe uh, maybe worth grading. I mean put you put your own eyeballs on it when you get it. But if that if that you can get a I wonder what a PSA ten goes for. Oh, we were talking about baseball movies, Rex. Baseball, but that's why no one was talking about it. But has Air Bud been in a baseball movie? But Max saying Air Bud's been in space. Why not baseball? You're welcome, Rick. Congrats. Reese Nair, 41 out of 250. There's Austin Hayes to 149. It's for the Orioles, that's for Aaron Miller. Edward Cabrera, piece of his jersey for TJ and the Marlins. Ken Griffey Jr., red to 199. Joe Musgrove. There's Nate Pearson for the Blue Jays. That is for Chris Parent and Toronto. 33 out of 99. Gilo thinks we need a Space Jam type baseball movie. Yeah, why hasn't someone attempted that? There's Miguel Rojas to 50. To 299. Gavin Sheets. Well, I guess, I guess we know where El Canon's movie tastes lie. He thinks Field of Dreams is overhyped, 
but also thinks Con Air is the best Nick Cage movie of all time. And Joey Gallo with a with his first Dodger homer. Ooh, three run shot. Let's go. Let's go, Gallo. Exit below 101 miles per hour. Nice. Yeah, no, no one beats Father Time, Rex. And he hit a few rows deep into the outfield. That's a nice shot. Well, that Joey Gallo homer helped you out, Matt Arnold. I want to get you. You need to get back to even. They're helping you out. Dodgers helping you out. You like all the National Treasures you like? I thought the first one was great. And the next ones were were not so good. Which one? National Treasures. Uh -oh. With Nicolas Cage, oh, not, not the Panini. Movies? Yeah. <laughs> the movies, not the Panini product. Joey Gallo, see that Joey Gallo dinger? No, you did one? Yeah, 3 1 shot. That was good to do it Turner's back already too. Sure. Uh, Elkanon, you and I need to have a movie podcast. The Rock isn't bad. Gone in 60 seconds, amazing. Face off, fantastic. Wow. Tianjin Ruta, 199. Gone in 60 seconds was actually okay. But Face Off is just goofy. That's a, that's one of those so bad it's good kind of movies. There's I, I guess Con Air is in that category too for me. So Two ninety nine Randy Arzurania. I do love The Rock though. The Rock think of it as as that's a, think of it as a James Bond movie with Sean Connery. There are a number of YouTube video theories that are that are uh, that are out there that have put together that The Rock is actually a James Bond movie, an unofficial James Bond movie. Sean Connery's last James Bond movie. So I also think of it in that context, and then it becomes even more enjoyable. It's a Michael Bay movie, right? That's at the height of his powers. Jordan Alvarez to 149. Hans Kraus for the Phillies. That'll be for Kevin. And we got a Spark signature. Mmm, burgers. Jake Burger. Delicious, delicious burger going to Dante and the White Sox. Mummy, I don't think The Mummy 1 was a so bad it's good movie. I think that was just a solid romp. The subsequent ones are pretty terrible. That's And I feel like Tom Cruise even tried to re reboot The Mummy, and even he couldn't do it. Next box. They need to make a new rock star. I'm surprised they haven't done a remake of The Rock already. What happened to Brendan Fraser? I don't know. I'm sure there's YouTube videos of that too. Top 10 reasons why Brendan Fraser hasn't made another movie in Hollywood. 15 reasons why Brendan Fraser has been banned from Hollywood. You won't believe number seven. No, Rex is keeping track of Brendan Fraser. He has a lot of health issues, apparently, according to Rex. Rex MZ. He has major back issues. 
Rex is saying. Wait, you can't make a movie in a wheelchair? Clayton Kershaw has back issues. He got an epidural, and he's going to try to make it back and pitch in September. Hey, you're telling me Brendan Fraser can't, can't make movies? Come on, Brendan. He should he should wear one of those little back things that you see on 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 TV that Brett Favre wears. El Can, I don't think Brendan Fraser put on three hundred pounds for a new movie role with back issues. There's Luke Williams. Maybe he doesn't have back issues. How do you explain that, Rex? How does a guy with back issues? Have him putting on 300 pounds. That's ridiculous. There's Luke Williams at 250. No wonder his back is screwed up. Kevin with the Philly. Brendan Fraser, open invite to come in, come in, break with us and tell us what's going on. I saw Matt Brash last night dealing for the Mariners. It's Madison Bumgarner to 149. Ty France and Matt Manning. Jersey and autograph for Detroit. Matt with the Tigers. Last spot mojo strikes again. He plays a six or 700 pound man. Is he the whale, Gilo's asking. Well, the movie's called The Whale, says Rex. I guess, he, I guess he's the whale, proverbially. Tampa Bay Rays, Josh Lowe, Grant. Seth Beer to 199. And Hoi Young Park. 111 out of 199 jersey and autograph. I feel like uh, the Pirates must have some, must have a satellite office in Korea because they I feel like they've got, they've got some kind of pipeline to Korean ball players. They seem to sign a lot of those guys. Manny Machado to 35. All right, final three boxes coming up. Final three boxes, final quarter of the case. Good luck, everybody. This is Pick Your Team 9. We do have another uh, Pick Your Team loaded up. Pick Your Team 10, another full caser that we can uh, that we can work on and finish off in the next day or two. Gilo could play a whale with the pandemic way that you put on. I know I've, I've been I've been losing uh, some LBSs, getting into golf shape. The physical demand of the Mummy series destroyed his body. Apparently, Brendan Fraser Rex is looking up. He was in a hospital for seven years, undergoing. Spine surgery, knee surgeries, vocal cord surgeries. Jeez. I mean, he just wasn't geared for the. Tom Cruise is like 55 years old and he's running around doing his own stunts flying fighter jets. Different body types, I guess.
Xander Bogarts to 35. And Youth Explosion, 87 out of 99, Sam Bachman. Bachman Turner Overdrive. That's for the Angels. Yeah, I think uh, Tom Cruise is definitely definitely uh, has a has a picture growing older in one of his mansions. I I, I would imagine, like the picture of Dorian Gray. Yeah, or he's drinking baby's blood. He's he's sacrificing virgins, eating the meat of a unicorn. Has the Philosopher's Stone. Doing some kind of crazy alchemy. Robin Young, 7 out of 25, autograph. Nice. Peter with the Brew Crew. He is a Scientologist. Yes, Mac, he is. Thirteen out of ninety-nine, Zach Gallon. And there is nothing wrong with Scientology, Mac. The nothing wrong with the overly litigious Scientologists. They're fantastic. We would say no ill word about Scientologists. Two out of twenty-five, Lars Nootbar. Those litigious Scientologists. Arthur Peru with the Cardinals, with the Nuke Bar. We, we respect the opinions of Scientology and its community. And we, and I will speak for all of Jaspi, saying that, that we, we definitely respect uh, we, we respect their, their, their religion. Definitely not a tax haven at all. Not a religious exemption tax haven at all. That is just straight up wrong. They're definitely not that. They're not. They're wonderful, uh, wonderful people. Not predatory at all. I, uh, a number of years ago, had a friend uh, who was managing a, a band, a local band here, and um, I think they wrote a song about Scientology, criticizing, and uh, they, they got a cease and desist from, uh, from Scientology, threatened them with all sorts of legal action. It was the thing. We got Chris McCormick. There's Whit Merrifield by the numbers insert. Chris McCormick, piece of his jersey. Going to Bobby and the Astros. There you go. El Canon's got an example in the chat too. None that I will repeat because they are a wonderful organization. I'm just, I'm, you know, you just hear stories about that. Miles Straw, 7 out of 10. Cleveland, this is for you. Jason with the Guardians.
There's Ronzi Contreras, Pittsburgh. Jeffrey, the Pirates. There you go, Jeff. Kevin Smith, jersey and autograph. For Toronto, Chris Parent. And we got Spencer Strider. Great, great old school mustache on the rook. Spencer Strider. That is for Steve Birch and the Braves. And Clayton Kershaw to 199. Back issues won't stop him. He'll be back. All right, final box. We should come up with like a, a, a code or a hand signal if, uh, if I'm ever like held hostage by a group of Scientologists. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll workshop it. Matt's asking, did I ever go to birds after you use the bathroom really bad? You have? Birds? Like the bar in Hollywood? All right, then then I'll piss off the free Freemasons. That'll be a thing. Got Luis Gill. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's right across. The, it's, it's it's nearby. Uh, that that's a. I don't know if that bar is still around, but that 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 little street there is. A couple bars, a couple nice little cafes that that were pretty cool. I spent some time there. It's Matt Brash to one ninety nine. It's Miguel Cabrera to ninety nine. And Matt Brash again. Oh, sorry. Matt Brash. Seattle. That's going to be for... That's going to be for Josh and the Mariners. And a Zebra Miles Straw. It must be a short print there. Oh wow, did you get caught? You should have used the bathroom at Birds. There's Jake Myers. Jake, 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 Jake. Astros, that's gonna be for Bobby. We got Dansby Swanson to 149 for the Braves. And our last autograph is Hey Siri. Who autographed the Sparks card? It's the Astros' is Jose Siri. And that's another Astro for Bobby. And there's Enfuego Mookie Betts. And there you go, boys and girls. We did it. Full case break of select in the books. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. Here is a quick recap. Usually with breaks that are this long, I'll do a little recap for you at the end.
Not a bad break at all. We got another case loaded up on jazbeescasebreaks.com, so check it out. Another, we can do another full caser. Some nice RPAs, low numbered hits, a lot of parallels, all card ship. That Moonshots, Max Muncy, Moonshots, Jared Walsh. And of course, can't forget that nice color wheel that we pulled, a little dusty on here, cardboard dust, but that nice Otani color wheel we got out of this case as well. Plus tons of color, a lot of parallels. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next baseball break. Bye-bye.